What's good, everybody? This is Sean, and you're watching On The Fly. And let me say this. I am a action buff. Action buff galore. And I'm going to make this bold statement. John Wick 4 is by far the best action movie I have ever seen in my life. Hey, Stevie Wonder, come get this nigga, man. Come on, don't bullshit me. I'm not bullcrap. I mean, you got the likes of Blade 2. You got the likes of Matrix 2. Three hundred, of course. Man of Steel. You got all of these movies that has great action, but I have to say by far, John Wick is the greatest action movie I have ever seen in my life. And I'm gonna just kill all the spoilers as, as far as my grading. I'm gonna give this movie, based on what it is, a 10 out of 10. Yes, I said it, a 10 out of 10. OPS. So this movie right here, Keanu Reeves. Well, first of all, let me say this. Whoever was the scout, whoever did the cinematography, the locations, the lighting, just the scenery. 10 out of 10. Like, 10, I, I don't even know what to say. This is a 10 out of 10 all the way through and through. And what got me so excited about this movie is I always wanted to create my own big budget action film. And I'm going to be honest, everything that they put in this movie, not, as, not necessarily verbatim, but the way they did the action scenes, the way everything just flowed so smoothly and you could see all the transitions and you could see all of, all of the consequences of what happened to certain things. This is exactly how I would have made this film by far, hands down. This movie is what my childhood movie would have been. For sure, I can't even say nothing else about it. Like, in order for you to see the movie, you, you would be doing yourself a disservice if you see this film on DVD or streaming networks. You gotta see a movie like this in the actual theaters. Then on top of that, I'm gonna let you know. Like, I think my movie started at like 10 a.m. I didn't walk out of there until about 1, 1 p.m. I, I wanna say this is a three hour movie. Um, and if it wasn't three hours, it was damn near close. And from what I'm hearing is, they had to cut it down. And I can see why they would have to cut down a movie like this because it's just cr crazy, crazy action scenes. So this film, they got some heavy hitters in here. Plus they got Keanu Reeves, they got, uh, you know, they got Lawrence Fishburne, they got uh, a couple names that I can't necessarily name, but they got some heavy hitters. You know what I'm saying? They got, of course, Donnie Yen, and they got uh, Scott Atkins for sure, as far as like, you know, like the legitimate, you know, fighting news that I know of. And I'm gonna say this, I know I'm in my trailer, I know in the trailer what I said, um, I don't want to spoil it, but look, this is a spoiler section. So if you don't want to know about the movie, then I suggest you go watch the movie and then come back. But what I said in my trailer was, he not beating Donnie Yen. So I'm gonna just keep it a buck. I was right. Now, in order to see the outcome of 
you know, Donnie Yen and, and, and Keanu Reeves, you got to see what happens in the movie. It was a hell of an outcome. Now, the way I would describe this movie, it's like playing a video game. It's like enemies was just coming out by the ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. It's like, dang, when is it going to end? Just when you think that the scene is about to die down, it picks right back up. And you're not even mad that it's picking back up. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let me go and get this out the way. Who the fuck is this guy? Because I'm going to be honest with you. He shouldn't even been in the movie. I hated his character. I hated the way he talked, the way they tried to make him like this. I don't know what they was trying to do with this character, man, but I wasn't feeling him at all. And I'm going to be honest, they really could have left him out the movie. I understand that it kind of pushed it a little bit, but you could have wrote that out and the movie would have been the same. It would have gave me the same impact. So if I have any negatives about this movie, which is not a lot, if any, they could have left him out the movie. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, I'm going to keep it a buck, man. This movie, it's, like I said, it's so much to say. Of course, it, it's a continuation. It's for part one, two, and three. And this is, I guess, supposed to be the finale of it. I don't know. Um, I read something about how they said they're going to give this one a rest and, 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 and you know, try to do something of it. Um, how they're going to do it, that's, that's going to be a hell of a script. You know what I'm saying? Because this went from a basic film to it just it just went like it just went left. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like I don't see how they can do a fifth movie. I just can't see it. <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, I've seen weirder things and stuff like that. But let me just go, man. This movie. I'm about to slap somebody. I'm gonna punch somebody in the face. <laughs> 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 Keanu Reeves is to guns as to Vin Diesel is to cars. Like things that is done in this movie is, is pretty much impossible, but it's a good time. It's a very, very good time. And you gonna have to move over with Chow Young Fat because Keanu Reeves got you be hand downs when it comes to gun food. Gun food is Keanu Reeves, that's him. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, he's a I don't want to say he's an imposing figure, but you know, he got some height on him. So some of the moves that he does, you know, that is overpowering to some of these dudes that he's facing, it's believable because you know, Keanu Reeves ain't no little bitty dude. So I'm gonna have to give kudos to that. The action scenes, hands down by far the best action scenes that I've seen in my life. And I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it above. With the way this movie went, it started off, and then at the beginning of the film, the first half of the film, I should say, I liked it better than the second half. I'm going to just say that. I liked the first half of the movie better than the second half, but the second half was fire too. So like, if you got to go on a scale of one through 10, first half is a, it's a 10, second half is a nine. So, oh, that's what makes this movie so fire. Like, I can't even put into words how fire this movie was because it was fire. It was fire. Now, man, it was some scenes in the movie, man, where these fools, they were, they had like Taylor suits, like Kevlar suits. They was getting shot at and they was blocking the dang old bullets with their clothes. Like they was blocked, man. They, go watch the movie. That's all I'm gonna say. The movie is so fire, you gotta see the movie. They got some fight scenes on here that's just remarkable. And then the dude who played um, uh, Scorpion, I ain't never really just seen him in a physical um, role like that. Like, you know, he's always kind of in the background or something like that, but he really showcased his like his skills. You know what I'm saying? I, and I can appreciate that because, you know, when I see him, I'm looking like, dude, you know, he got the look, he's, he's got the voice, he's got the whatever role. But I ain't never really just seen him in no physical type of fights. And this one right here, he showcased his skills. Like everybody who was like top notch in skills, it wasn't like they was like some punks. They, everybody was top notch and stuff like that. But um, John Wick, I mean, this is basically what you're gonna get from any John Wick movie you're gonna get. 
kill scenes. You're gonna get shooting. You're gonna get a crazy death count. That's just part of the John Wick film. But just look at, let's just say part one, two, and three, and then times five. That that's how fire this movie is, stuff like that. Now it's a couple scenes. I, I gotta say, is the, the 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 special effects in this film? It's ridiculous. Like it's some scenes where they was some people getting hit by cars cars and it looked like people was really getting hit by cars i couldn't believe it like y'all gotta really see i know i'm probably repeating myself but this is all i can give you i'm not gonna give you all like the long 20 minute reviews like i used to do and stuff like that i'm really trying to work on that and i don't want to do any type of you know play by play this is just something that you got to see um i give this a 10 out of 10. that's all i'm gonna say if you do not see the movie like i said you're doing yourself a disservice so with that being said John Wick, 10 out of 10. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Post your comments down below. I'll catch y'all on the fly. Peace.